Since the smaller setup videos resonate well with you guys, I thought for the end of the year, let's just go out with a bang. One box, one synth. That's today's video. You ready? Let's go do it right now. Hey yo, what's up, I'm Analog Kitchen and thank you for checking out yet another video. Now if this is your first time here, do not hesitate to click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Whenever I upload a new video, you'll be kept in the loop and you'll not miss out on anything. Stick around till the end of this video, I'll tell you all about the Mixer project, what is going to happen in 2023. I'll tell you all about the new patrons and how you can get with the community and how everything is going and growing. So, one box, one sim, meaning one Groove box. Today I opted to go for the MPC Live and I've got a Mini Log XD. Those two boxes are versatile. They can do more than they initially promised. In terms of sound design, the XD is an amazing machine. It's cheap, it sounds well, it's analog and it does the trick. And the MPC, it's becoming more and more and more of a workhorse nowadays with the updates with the sounds on board, with the packs you can stick on there. Today I will use a few drum sounds, I'll just load them up and let's see how far we can go. You ready? We're gonna just do that thing from scratch. One box, one synth. That is the vibe. You ready? Let's go do it right now. Now in order to make techno, you would like to get there fast. That's basically what I always opt to go for. I would like, like to get somewhere first. So the Mini Log XD, it's got like a lot of presets on it, you know, uh, 200 to be exact. They do uh, a lot of stuff. So obviously there's a lot of stuff that you can do. I, however, I'm going to skip all the um, presets that are on there and I'm going to just scroll all the way up to uh, the 200 bank because that's where the initialized patch start or with in other words you can create your own sounds there so 200 is the last of the original samples there which is a hat nice analog sound i've already made a sound on 200, uh, 201 so i'm not going to go there so so you can see nice Sample. So we're going to start from scratch. We're going to look for some drums first, right? So I've got a sequence, sequence one. I've got a program that I renamed in percussion one. So it means that my beats are going to come from there. I am going to stick different beats on the grid. Now I started with an 808 kick, but I'm not so sure that that's the one I'm going to use. So let's play it. And let's see if we can just like uh, go in. We say assign samples here. So I've got two things right here. Kick is right here, so I'm gonna to go to the browser. Now, the samples are coming from my percussive helpers sample pack, which means I have got like um, all the drum computers already lined up. So that sample pack is available, I'll link it in the description below. So there's a Lindrum, there's a, a 606, a 707, an 808, and a 909, a sequential tom. So that should get you started, right? So we're going to go for classic 909. So I'm going to go to my 909 drum computer. I'm going to go to the folder that says kicks and then I can just play. Mm, nice. All right. Looking for a kick here. Let's try this one. A bit on the hardcore, hardcore side, so. Bit on the long side. Hmm, hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll start with this. So we're gonna start with something crazy. What I will do is, I'll go out of here, I'll say like, edit the samples. I can see it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna short this sample. Let's envelope it a little bit, right? Cool. I'll go in, I'll go here, say program edit. And I'll do that path. I'll go to the envelopes. Do you know, see the envelope for my uh, kick? Start, and I'm going to start like alter it a bit. Hmm. 
There you go. A little shorter. Does the trick. Now, I am going to use a hybrid of 808 and 909, right? So, what I'm going to do is for the heads, so I'm going to stick on pad 4. I'm going to go for closed 808 heads. Let's find those first. I'll stick them on a different track also. So, I'll go here, I'll say track 2, I'll rename track 2 into uh, heads. Uh, I'm gonna go for 808, 808, cool, do it. All right, I'm gonna go in, size samples. Let's look for the samples right here. Browse, I'm gonna go out, bam. 808 bank, sample pack. Where are you? Over here. Hat sets, sets. No, I'm liking that. Oh, that was not what I wanted it. Okay, stick it here. Stick it here. Cool. Nice, okay. First of all, straight in, let's go and use the pad mixer because things are pretty hot already. Just gonna go in with 16th. I don't wanna stand there, so shift, note repeat. I know that it's holding. Gonna record it straight in. There we go. Okay, got our hats here. Same with the hats, a bit on the long side. What I'm going to do is envelope them later, maybe. What I would like to do is see if I can record some ratchets. But first, I still think it's a little bit too loud, so we're gonna go to the pad mixer again. Lower it a bit. Yep, liking that. Cool, yeah, that's cool. All right, cool. So, edit samples, you see this here. Gonna go in, sequence, we're gonna go to main, menu, program edit. We're on A4 on the pad, same thing. We're gonna go for the sustain. The hole should be a little. Okay, as well. Create a nice envelope. And maybe take off a little bit of that heart attack. There you go. So now it's more of a brush. That's what we like. Okay. Now that I've got this, I'd like to go for maybe a clap. I'm gonna go out of the note repeat. So back in, main, sign samples. Here, clap, go out, browse. Sample assign out of this folder into the, let's start with the clap. So it's either an 808 or a 909 clap. I'm thinking 909 first, so let's try it. Let's clap here. Ooh. This one is a bit on the, on the bright side. This one is a little bit lower. No. Nope. Nope. This could do, but this is a bit of a housey side. So this is more house. I use a clap like this for house, right? I'll show you why. If I'm using... You can clearly hear that there is a snappy attack and a long sort of like tail to it. And what you would want is a little bit more industrialized. It's kind of like this one. Okay, so if we use this. Okay, replace. Nice. What we're we going to do instead of the two and four, we're going to stick it on a on a techno pattern where it does. You know, so it's going to just like start a little bit before the beat. So I'm going to go to track three. 
immediately going to say like clap. Yep, do it. Boom. So. Gonna wait for the sequence to make its cycle. Then here. Yeah, liking that, liking it. Straight in, main, gonna go to menu, again, pad mixer, also on the loud side. Yeah, I'm liking it, I'm digging this, cool. cool. All right, what do we need? We can go for, kick, 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 yep, okay. I'm feeling that I can do, there's a tom already here. This could work, but not the way it's sounding right now. But I'll opt to go for something else. Let's find an open hat first, yeah? A hat and a right is what, what I need. So I'm gonna go here and say OHH, -H, which means my open hi hat. Do it. I'm going to assign a sample, which is here. Select the pad. I'm gonna go in um, menu, sorry. So go out, assign samples. Yeah, browse, gonna go out, that's the clap, bam. Go out of there, we're gonna go for hats. Hi hats, my hats are over here. Woo! Now the way I set those samples up is they start out soft and short, which is what I use for house, maybe tech house, from a lot of techno, but when it comes to just like a bit more Detroit, or a driving techno, those hats will become a little longer and they get more saturated, as you can hear. So this is a short hat, a shorter hat, and then you start to go for, it's too short, I think this number seven, yeah, cool. I'm not even going to record it and I'm going to just like lower it immediately. Cool, record it in. Before I start doing anything else, I think it's time for me to start working on the Mini Log XZ now. It's on channel 10, which means I'm being very optimistic, but I'm gonna go to track 10 and make sure that... As you can hear that the bass drum has its own sort of tone, yeah? So we wanna stay on this same root note as the kick. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and see if I can um, uh, stick the kick drum out of a different output because I would, li I would like to have the control over the output. Now, I hear you guys, uh, thanks for all the comments on uh, the channel saying like, okay, do a video on mixers. I will do a video on mixers and how I rooted it and how it's set up. Um, what I can tell you now is the way I've set up this mixer. This is a small Midas DM12 mixer. It's nothing special. Uh, the auxiliaries, um, you can stick some effects on there and I'm using one auxiliary usually to send that to a looper or whatever so I can decide whatever you hear that if I'm opening it up I'm sending it to uh, maybe the Octatrack or the Tantan Black Box for instance. I'd like to always have control of my kick drum, very important. So the stereo output is on a stereo fader. So the DM12, 12, 12, got 10, mono, uh, on line eight, mono faders, and then nine and 10 are stereo, and 11 and 12 are also stereo, right? So this is the stereo output. Now I'm gonna to go to that kick drum that's sitting over here. On the one, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm gonna go in, uh, menu. Yes, I'm going to go to this pad. I'm going to select this pad, and then this pad, which is one, I am going to um, tell it to go out of a different output. 
and I'm going to use output 6, which is sitting right there. So now output 6 is here on channel 8, doesn't make any sense, but then you understand what's going on. So I've got them sitting next to each other. So now if I'm playing the beat, you don't hear anything. You can hear the death of my kick. So now I have control over the kick separately. Easy. So if I got a sound going and I want to make a breakdown, it's easy for me to just like take out all the drums in one go. So yeah, well, there you go in back back in. One, two, three, hey. That's how I usually use to it live. So cool. Now, that's the kick drum coming out of a different um, separate channel. Got control over it. I can even EQ it if I wanted to, but I am notorious for not equalizing and compressing anything. So you can imagine that is that. Cool. Now it's easy to set your levels. Sometimes you think like I need more kick, but you can turn up on the uh, turn up the kick, or I opt to just like turn down the stereos. As you can see, the phases are fully open. That means that I'm gaining in the level of the sounds because I don't want to be um, in a dark environment trying to look at where the faders need to be for performing. I just want to open up the faders, close, two, three, back in, bam. You know, and if I have to stop it here, it's going to give me too many fluctuating levels. You don't want that. So um, enough headroom, but at the same time, not too much, not too hot with the signals. Okay, that's the mixer side of things, right? What I'm going to do now um, is, uh, yeah, work on that sound, as I promised you. Which means I'm going to go to channel 10. I'm going to name it because we'd like to get organized. We call it mini, mini logo. Uh, XZ to be thorough, right? Nice, well that's recorded. Super simple. Now I can work on the sound a little bit more. So, easy peasy. Let's see what we can do. That's one oscillator, right? Which is VCO one. The levels are over here. So there's no sound. And then the waveform is here. So this is a triangle, this is a square. This is soul. I'm going to go in and make it a little lower. Now I'm going to immediately see how this works with the cutoff. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking it. Okay. Now bear with me. That's oscillator two. We're going to introduce that immediately. Okay, I'm liking that, but we needed it. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Let's uh, turn on some uh, effects. That's delay. So yeah, I can select which one you want. Ping pong delay, high pass. Let's go for stereo delay, yeah? Not too loud. We're going to turn on reverb as well. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> nice. I like it to be a little bit crossy. There's another oscillator here, which is a user oscillator. I usually don't use it. I'm only going to go for what I have right now, right? Let's keep it there for a second. Okay, I'm liking that. Yeah. Let's record that in. Very simple. Okay, cool. Now that we got this sound, let's uh, roll with this a little bit. Let's go back to the drums, because now we've got something that's moving. Okay, I'm gonna go whoop. Now, it's time for a right cymbal, right? Right, it's time for a right cymbal, right? Oh man, <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. Okay, uh, right. Cool, do it. Gonna go in, assign samples, bam. Right's going to go here. Gonna go out, which means browse here. Hey, browser. Symbols. Okay, let's keep it in tune. This one is pitched, luckily, pitched in the key of the kick and the sound that we have. Let's go straight in. Again, we're gonna go to menu, pad mixer. We're gonna say here. There we go. Now the trick that I use to do something quick with the uh, Akai is I will go in that same page you got the pad mixer, but you got pad mutes here as well. Now this is easy because now you can do what I usually do on the mixer, you know? Which means mute the sounds on the fly and play around with it. Kick in. Let's work on the sound a little bit more. Yep, 
Now route the um, LFO to the filter. So it starts to become a little bit more aggressive now. Because when the um, envelope is being um, manipulated by the LFO, it becomes a bit more of a percussive vibe. Listen to this. If you know, it's gnawing at it. Wow, wow, wow. Yep, there you go. Come on, man. I mean, this, this is gonna work, right? Now we're going to look at some sounds that are going to come from the MPC. Um, analog kitchen, I know, but at the same time, there are some cool sounds that are embedded on the Akai as well that we can use. Mind you though, the sounds, stock sounds are a bit EDM-ish, so it sounds a bit, um, yeah, a little bit too um, ultra music for me, but at the same time, you can get somewhere. So what we're going to do is see if we can place another sound underneath uh, this what we have right now. Open up a cool. Which means all the music is starting from uh, track 10, right? So 11. Let's see if we can find a synth here. Tube synth. I'm going to go for a hype synth. Because the hype synth is absolutely amazing. Yeah, make it suspenseful. only on one sequence right so go to my next sequence page you see I'm only on this one sequence I can copy it now and do something else which is cool because on this sequence I can just stick a different program change so if I go to another sequence I can play completely something different let's copy this sequence over which is here we'll go to sequence let's rename it so this is my um, first for sake of example and then we'll say I'm going to copy that, copy the sequence, it's going to go to the next free sequence, which is going to be the second one, obviously, everything being empty, do it, which means, one, two, three, it goes to, bam, now it's on two, here we're going to say second, second, and here we are actually going to do different things, right, so this is what's playing right here with the hype synth, I'm going to Maybe make it a little bit higher. I'm going to edit the notes here on this page. Add an end, make it longer, so that I know that it's always going to be like this. I'm going to say transpose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's an octave, which means playing the same thing, but then higher up the scale. Okay, now we're going to alter the sound. Wait, 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 it's the hype scene. This is our hype. Cool. Now, on another video I will also show you how to just like use a launch control Excel to map out filters and everything so that you don't have to menu dive in order to manipulate the synth. Because this synth, you get to the filter, it means menu, it means program edit, it means looking for the filter page which is here, and then you have to just like tap this, okay, and then you can manipulate it. Filter amp. And all these things can be mapped away, but me being as simple as I am, I love a layout with the filters on the front, which means that you don't have to just like dive into somewhere. Um, just 
throat. Lower it. But then again, it gives you an idea of what's possible. Okay. Now, I can hear you think, damn it, that right symbol is really doing my head in. <laughs> I hear you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of the mini pages. We're going to go over here. Which means menu, bad news. Let's uh, alter the sound, right? Since we're on the second, uh, uh, on the second sequence or pattern, what I'm going to do is make a little bit of a melody, maybe. Yeah, make a melody. So this first. Two. Over this, it's a little bit too happy. We want to make it a little bit more obscure. Also, bam, 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 bam. Okay, now I'm going to lower this. How you can completely change the vibe of the track here. Okay, now I'm going to just like filter this down, this sound that you hear coming from the Akai, um, because I would like to show you how you can build different tensions within the same sort of like vibe, right? So I'm gonna go into the hype synth menu, program edit. I'm still on the filter page, so I'm going to. Change the waveform here. Yep, see if I get to. So now it becomes a little bit more melodic. I can't help myself. Here we go. A little bit more delay, I think. Okay, 
Okay. This is all nice and nanny. I'm going to add another sound. Let's see that we can make it even a little bit crazier, which means I'm going to copy this sequence again. So second is going to go to third. Synth on 11, mean log XD. 11, hype 11, mean log on 10. 12 is going to be, I don't know. Let's try another plugin. Tube synth. Uh, make a new program before you alter anything. Let's get out of the trend sounds because they sound caca as hell. Okay, what we need is something with a bass sound. Let's go in. Yeah. You kidding me? idea is to also stick the uh, the um, mini log xd on a stereo fader so i can easily just mute and uh, put it in right okay so now you understand how this works on my mixer now i've got a percussive bass line of some source that is helping me build up my groove this works with the drums listen to the bad mutes if we're gonna get out here so Bad mute obviously works if you're not on a wait a minute. Bass. Bass. Cool. Yep, nice. This is my extra bass. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to bad mute. Not on the media, just set it. Boom. Yep. Bad mute. Cool. And everything you see is, can be mapped because if I'm gonna go to track mute, now I can mute whatever is playing here. See? Nice. So this is the page you wanna be in because then you get every sound that you have playing right here. So I can mute the kick here and here. If you don't have a mixer for instance, if everything comes out of the stereo output and you use the inputs of the Akai, which you can use, you root your uh, Mini Log XD and place this thing in rec mode and just put the monitor on so you can listen to what's happening. You can even just stick it on a stereo fader and you'll be done, right? So let's go back to my different page because here the right needs to go on 
And then here I'm gonna go to track view and turn it off here. Cool. Same thing. Now there's also a time division thing that a lot of people don't know about, which is if you put it on a time division and you say you put it on a bar, now bam, two, three, stop. Boop, you got a little timer. One, two, three, go. See? I don't use it though, because I think it can be slack at certain points, so I'll just always turn it off. So that's the time division, but then you know that it's there, right? Okay, uh, mini log off, which means I can just now not tamper with the mixer anymore, and now we're going to just like build up the track a little bit, right? So, cool. The kick is over here. My kick is always going to be on this one thing, muscle memory. There's another thing, I keep repeating it, muscle memory is very important. So you can see that the music is over here, the drums are over here. And deliberately I left some space on the not illuminated pads for other things to do. But by now I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five drum sounds for this sound. Mm. It doesn't need to be more. If I want to do anything else, I'm starting to double the sounds, double the bass line. So it contra place something, double that string line, do it like this, right? So we can say like, okay, it's five o'clock in the morning. So we want to um, come up with something weird or something eerie. So we'll start with this. And now, as I said, I have not mapped out the sounds, otherwise I will just gradually build stuff in and build stuff out. At the same time, to just like make uh, an impact and kick people in the butt, it's cool to just also start with something cool. Now the music is not where we're going to be. Um, so I am going to go for that bass line. But the kick drum is something that I can fade in, so I'm definitely going to do that. As well as the drums, I think. Nah, the drums are on the stereo, so this is something that you can map out as well. Because there's six outputs on the um, MPC Live, which is a big um, plus if you're trying to do it that way. With the new software, you can get a um, sound card mixer of some sort, and then you can tell it by software, tell the guy to just stick the different sounds over the different faders. I try to keep it simple. Um, so I'm not using it that way because you get tempted to just root everything out. And believe me, it's cool that you can have like six or 12 channels that you can root out, but it's, you're never going to just like do an in-depth mix with that way, right? So it's just for um, routing purposes, which is why I just stick with this. Two, three, kick. Which is not there, obviously, because it's here. <laughs> cool. Let's fade the kick in. That's what I was going to do. And I'm doing this slowly so that if you fall in the different groove or you fall out of the beat, I can just reel you in here. Turn the hype off. Next up, always 80 heads. 808. Back with the hive synth. Open head. Mini Log XD. We're going to start. We'll bring it down first and make it very short. Clap in.
I can do a whole lot of stuff with this thing, man. I'm telling you. Now I can switch back the baseline that I have right here. I'm liking it. So I want to copy this to the first pattern, right? Um, yeah, that's the best way to just play it, basically. Okay, tube shift, round base, yeah, definitely, I got it. So, kick out. See, this is why it's handy to root stuff in different ways. So we're gonna go here. Two, down, go. Like it. Okay, guys. Next sequence, go to the third one. There we go. Now I guess that that's how I do it, man. I mean, um, the MPC is an amazing machine. I love it to death. Uh, I've been loving it to death like forever, but I had a love-hate relationship with it because in the beginning when the, the updates were far and few, uh, yeah, it was a bit frustrating to see that there was so, much cap so many capabilities and they didn't just come through, but now I think I like it. I mean, I also love the Octa track. Today was just a little bit of a different vibe. I just wanted to show you how you can just like get with two machines and get them to work. Okay, um, Patreon and Discord. Um, there's a lot of patrons. I'm going to just uh, quickly look up uh, who they are this week. We've got Nicola Keilhauer, aka Theo, Masie Krupa, I know that I'm wrecking the name, and Moe's, uh, and Pavlov's Stray Dogs. Welcome you guys, welcome and thank you for supporting. I mean, um, you found my little niche uh, on the web, you found uh, the, the, the Discord community, we're talking shop, we're talking a lot of stuff, we're working still on that mixer, that's really cool. Um, uh, 2023 is going to be the year that a lot of things that I dreamt of in 22 are going to just like um, finally get finalized, you know what I mean? The analog courses, that's going to just like really, really be great. Finally, it's in the last stages, we're absolutely, absolutely going. Um, that's good and what i really really love is the mixer project i mean this thing is going to be like turn heads it's going to sound different it's going to just be different i don't think there's anything like that thing out there at the moment you know and i don't understand why now there's a few things that are also going to happen in terms of the educational thing that i'm doing uh, app wise and stuff so there's so many new things that are actually happening i couldn't have done it without your help your support the guys girls watching my channel supporting me on patreon or being a channel member it all helps it all helps to just make this channel bigger and better and that's what i try to do for you guys so i would like to wish everyone a very very happy new year stay safe be good look out for one another and by all means keep hammering on those synthesizers and prompt computers thanks for being here you're an absolute superstar you made it this far through the video i'm analog kitchen and i'll see you next year on another video. Peace.